What's going on guys? Today we're going to have a lot of fun. This is something that's been happening to me on YouTube pretty much forever. I will put up a video and then I will have someone would disagree. And they would disagree and it was like, like recently I put up a video talking about Warren Buffett's being pretty much the only investor and I had someone like, Glennon, you're wrong. There are a few other investors, not a lot, <laughs> not a lot. And then he's like, uh, I've tried all these business ideals and now I'm trading Forex with AI. And I left a simple question. And this is something I do all of the time. How much money have you made per month with AI? That's the question, right? I am not gonna get an answer. You can go find that video and look at it. I'm not going to get an answer because this is what's happening. I call it the prevalence of the knowledge bros. These are people who have watched YouTube video after YouTube video after YouTube video. They have read blogs. They have read blogs. They have, uh, they, they're really knowledgeable about real estate. They're really knowledgeable about Toro. They're, they're very, very knowledgeable. Now, here's the thing that is missing from the knowledge bros. They have actually never done it. They are very knowledgeable. They've done a lot of research. They've read the best journals, but they have never done it. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I go into detail. When I talk about what is rich, rich is $250,000 a year. That's the beginning of rich. What is wealthy? 3.5 to 5 million. I go ahead and put specifics on the conversation to help guide you. The knowledge bros, they don't know anything about specifics. Like right now, there's this um, meme going around talking about would you take 4,000 a week or two million cash, two, 4,000 a week for the rest of your life, two million cash, or an 850 credit score, and everyone is saying, I'll take the 850 credit score. All right, so let, let's kind of get into that. Uh, my credit score is not 850. Uh, the highest has ever been was an 815, so my credit scores go from 790 to 815, so I don't have an 850. However, I do have good credit, and I have $500,000 worth of personal credit cards, and I have $750,000 worth of business credit, and I have a business, I have tax returns, and I... What I want you to do is to sit back and to think, what would your life look like if you were living exactly how you wanted to live? I want you to think if you were living in the house that you wanted to live in, you were driving the car that you wanted to live in, you were married or in a relationship with the person that you wanted to be in, in a relationship with. I'm here to tell you that's all powerful. That's all possible. The power of persistence, a bold guide to achieving your goals will help you get there. But that's not all I have for you. What I want you to do is to go ahead and get yourself involved in the Corporate Citizen Playbook training. I have a goal to create 50,000 corporate citizens. What is a corporate citizen? A person who has an income of $250,000. That in the United States of America makes you rich. That's the beginning. And this is what this whole curriculum is designed to help you get there. First of all, teach you everything that you need to know about setting up a corporate rations, setting up the structure, the LLC, the holding companies, the operating companies, teach you how to get six-figure business lines of credit, teach you how to set up a company, teach you how to set up an operating company, teach you all of these things that you currently don't know. So here is where this even gets better. First of all, right now I am building out the Corporate Citizen Playbook training. It's going to take me some time because it's going to be a pretty large course. During that phase, when I'm building that out, you can get in at an extreme discount. And whether you go ahead and do the one and done or do the payment plan, 
you lock yourself in to get all of the training that is coming. Next month, we're going to be talking about how to make money, how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. That's going to be probably July. And if you go ahead and lock in today, where you would go below, watch the video, you would get into the description, or it will be in the comment section where you can go ahead and do a one and done or do the payment plan and use the promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, to get this extreme discount that's gonna lock you in to all of the training that's about to go down in 2023. So once again, go below the video, it'll be in the description, or it'll be in the comment section where you can go ahead and get in on this new training. I've applied at banks. And I, Glendon Cameron, with a 790 to 815 credit score, with a very good credit profile. My credit profile is thick. And a beginning business credit profile. And I, I, I make income. I cannot get $2 million worth of credit at the moment. But for some reason, because here, here's the limitation, because this is something I'm gonna go into into the uh, corporate citizen playbook. I'm gonna talk quite a bit about my experiences getting business credit. And one of the things that is really, really key to you getting a lot of business credit is to have an accurate tax return. Now, you know what happened to me. I had the car rental business. I'm taking two years of losses. I am not going to put, like I managed to get two six-figure biggest business lines of credit because I knew how to talk that talk. <laughs> but I am not applying for any large business lines of credit into 2024 when those losses come off my returns. See, the banks, and like I said, I'm going to go through this quite a bit because I have a lot to share about getting six-figure lines of business credit, the things that you have to present, the things that you have to show, and ultimately, I will be able to get that two to three to four million dollar business line of credit in the future, even though I am already in a position with having good credit. Because I, I just see this stuff, and this one girl in this thing says, you know, I borrow a million, I turn that one million into ten million. Wait, wait a minute, if you got two million cash, uh, wouldn't you be able to take one million and turn it to two? I, once again, don't understand it because here's the thing. And this, this is an important thing. For you to get very large lines of business credit, a six figure business line of credit, a hundred thousand, there are some banks that will approach that. And then for you to get a $250,000 business line of credit, you're going to have to have a business that has made a million dollars. Yeah, to get a $250,000 line of credit. They're not going to give you, let's say you have a business that makes 150. Um, if you know what to do, you could get to a million dollar line of credit if you know what to do, but it's going to be a struggle. And this is where the knowledge bros, and what I like to call the YouTube reporters. I would say that 90% of the how to make money online with various devices and protocols are being reported on, meaning that the YouTuber who has created the content hasn't done it. And this is where the knowledge bros come in because I will say there are valid use cases for reporting, letting people know what's going on. That's a valid use. But this is typically what I run into with the knowledge bros. You're wrong, Glendon. And these are my reasons without any specifics, without any relevant information, because they are merely reporting what they have discovered from their research. I'm about to go ahead and tell you something that's gonna be realer than real. 
until you introduce your product to the marketplace, you have no clue to what you're talking about. Right now, I saw a video and I don't know, I know there, there are people who are trying to sell how to do Toro courses. I know for a fact there's multiple people teaching how to do Airbnb. And one of the people who's teaching how to do Airbnb is doing it from a reporter stance. They actually have made millions of dollars because they have reported how to do Airbnb without actually doing Airbnb. And I saw this really interesting video this morning talking about the crash of Turo. And this guy who does Turo, he's actually a Turo host. And he was talking about, I had to lower my prices 25 to 35%. And he just kind of went through a map. And he was just talking about, well, this Torah host is gone. This Torah host is gone. This tour he, cause once again, he's actually in Toro. He's actually doing it for real. So checking up on this com composition, he says a lot of these hosts are gone. They're, they're out of the Toro business. And I don't know. Cause I like one of the things I did during my uh, global reset, the global reset of Glendon Cameron is I got rid of a lot of content that wasn't going to help me do the things I need to do. So I'm not watching any Toro content. I'm not watching any Airbnb content. Um, my content consumption has been very purposeful and intentional and it's really, really working out. But back to the knowledge bros, I'm going to say something and that's going to be right in line with until you actually establish a business you actually get into it all of this knowledge that you've accumulated and stuffed in your head is 100 percent worthless because it's unchallenged and this is one again like literally i will not hit them up with a serious deep conversation because it's not going to be had like someone else was talking about America doesn't make these $50,000 a year jobs, right? And I was like, went ahead and just found a whole bunch of jobs at $500,000 and asked simply, are you qualified for these jobs? Because see, this is the thing. I'm a business owner. It is not my prevalence. It's not my purview to make sure that you're paid well. And my purview is to pay you what the market says I should pay you. And, you know, that's my goal. My goal is not to overpay you to over sympathize your income like this one guy he got in trouble this guy had a payroll payroll processing service and he he paid all his employees 75,000 he took money off of his off of his pay to pay his employees and I think he got in trouble I'm not 100% sure but this whole notion, and I, this is why I did the video where the uneducated worker in America wants a very high pay. Here, here's the thing, and I want you guys to listen to me. You will be paid on how easy it is to replace you. The harder it is to replace you, the pay goes up. The easier it is to replace you, the pay goes down. And I have seen in comments, anyone working 40 hours in America should have enough money to, to have a decent place to stay and put food on the table. I see these comments and I just shudder because there are people out there and there are certain businesses who just simply don't have the profit margins to pay people like that. And the businesses that do have the profit margins to pay people like that, Wall Street, banking, commercial real estate, they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money, but back to the knowledge bros. And you know, I, I've had some of you congratulate me on me hit because these questions never get answered because they're reporting. And when you are a reporter, you can only report what you observe. Once again, I'm not a reporter. I'm a technician. I'm actually doing this for real. And this is why when I put out a video, and this is why I don't put out these videos talking about things I haven't done from a business standpoint. I will never put out a video that would indicate 
that I know a whole bunch about trucking. I put out trucking videos and in those videos it says, I am not starting a trucking business to let you know that I'm reporting, I'm reporting, I'm giving my, my viewpoints, I'm giving you some ideals, but I'm not in the trucking business. And you know, there are many people, someone said, Glennon, go ahead and get your CDL. And I just chuckled. God bless their little soul. Bless their little soul. I'm like, well, I'm gonna get a CDL because I am never gonna be in the truck. I am never gonna be driving the truck. I'm just not gonna do it. Just not. <laughs> it's just, it ain't happening. I mean, once again, God bless the truckers. Thank the truckers of America. I appreciate you guys because you make it possible for me to get all these little things that I want to get. So we need truckers. Truckers are important. Truckers do a valuable thing to society. But Glennon Cameron will never be a trucker. It's just not happening. Now, I will admit, when I was in the military, I did enjoy driving that truck because it was like a 12 speed. And, you know, I enjoyed shifting those gears and stuff. And I enjoyed driving that truck when we deployed. It was kind of fun. But that's as far as I'm going with trucking. I am not going to be getting in the trucking, driving a truck and shifting those gears. Uh, I'm just not, just not, not. But once again, back to the knowledge bros. The knowledge bros are convinced. And once again, there is valid use cases of reporting a certain thing that are quite valuable. But I'm going to say this to my knowledge bros, because I got a ton of you guys watching me who love to comment and who love to say, Glendon, you're wrong. Glendon Cameron, you're wrong. And then to put up your research without any real worth tangibility, I think it's hilarious because once again, you can go to the fortune, um, for the fortune, the, the list of the world's richest people, and you're not going to find a bunch of investors on there. You're just simply not. And Warren Buffett is a different case. And here's something else. This is something that I'm going to get some real pushback on. There was a guy on Wall Street bets who bet, who bought some stock in Bed Bath and Beyond. This guy, who's very young, I think he's still in college or was still in college at the time, was able to raise $25 million from friends and family, which tells me if his friends and family are that well off, this this is this little rich kid. He was he, he grew up a little rich kid and he bought $25 million worth of Bed Bath and Beyond stock and made like $125 million. I know the knowledge bros are coming for me, but for you to make huge investments, you need to have a huge capital to investment source. This is why the guy who was doing Wall Street bets had $25 million. He didn't do this with $100. He didn't do this with $1,000. He didn't do this with $10,000. And I know the knowledge bros are coming for me. And I'm just going to say that I will ask you to put up specifics because I have studied investing and men lie, women lie, math doesn't lie. And for you to get a large return outside of crypto, because crypto is completely nuts, you're going to have to have a large capital base, which most of you knowledge bros don't have because once again, Knowledge, bro, you don't even have the skills. You don't know how to sell. You don't know how to market. You don't know how to brand. You don't know how to make YouTube videos. You don't, know to, you, you don't have actual real, worse, real world use case skills. You have a lot of knowledge that you have studied and things that you've looked at. But once again, I'm going to say it again. Until you take your knowledge and create a product and throw your product to a the real marketplace, you don't know what you're talking about because let me show you why I know that and why I'm going to share with you why I say that 2009 to 2016, I had several products that I thought were gold. They were thought they were gym and I would spend weeks and months working on these products and then I would put them out to the marketplace and the marketplace would go, boo, we don't like that. I don't know how, I cannot count how many products and things that I have put out. 
I mean, it is because when I go back and look at all my older training courses, I can see so many things. I see so many things that are happening. I see so many things that are just like, good Lord, because there's actually quite a few of them. Some of you know about them because this is one of the things I started to do. I started to kill things. If I put some out and it wasn't hidden, like I put out this one thing, I left it out for four months. I got like five customers, five, right? I was like completely and utterly sucked. So what I started to do was just to destroy these things, get rid of them, get rid of the line, the website, just get rid of them. And the things that you can find like hustle camp and some other stuff that you can find, those things did well. The things you can now find, those are the things that did well made several hundred thousand or made millions. And I have learned a lot from coming out of my knowledge base and applying and sending my stuff to the real world. And I'm going to say, and I don't say this to be mean or facetious or dismissive. No, I say this, that if your knowledge is good as you think it is, it should be slides of money in your pocket. And that's why I always ask these simple questions, like how much money have you made from AI in the last month? You know, using AI to trade Forex in the last month. I, I fully expect not to get an answer. I fully expect not to get an answer because typically, and shout out to the people who do answer my questions, it's usually not a lot of money. Uh, I have someone that's like, hey, I've been doing, uh, been trading crypto for the last four years. I'm up to 45,000. I've turned 4,000 to 45. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for being honest. I appreciate your candor. And that's typically because once again, you need large capital base, except in the, was it Dogecoin? And now this thing that's called Mimi coin which are put up as complete and other jokes. And a lot of people are investing money in these because uh, this is my thoughts on the Right now, there are a number of people on YouTube who are advertising how to build business credit. If you go ahead and enroll in the Money Mindset Program, which teaches you how to manage your money for free, you will learn how to build business credit for free. Do you understand that you can go out, set up a new LLC, get an EIN, set up a business checking account, and go to a number of credit card issuers and banks and build yourself a hundred to $150,000 worth of business credit within 90 days. I got it all in this course. I teach you how to do it step by step. So go ahead and get the money mindset program today. The links is going to be in the video description and they will often be in the comments. So either way you can find it. And once again, this course is a hundred percent free. It's fast, it's easy, it's quick to the point, and it's things that you need to do to go ahead and learn how to manage your money. I feel that money management is a critical component to success. And this is why I am giving you this course. There's no charge, I'm not charging you today. I'm not gonna charge you tomorrow, there will be no fee. You can go ahead, enroll in this money management course and start learning the tools that you need to be financially literate to get your personal credit, get your credit, cre your credit card credit and all this other stuff straight where you can be a financially sufficient and on point person. Go ahead and enroll today. Once again, the enrollment is free. It's going to be in the video description or it'll be in one of the comments. So my name is Glendon Cameron and I will see you guys in the next one. Crypto space. If I can make money from it, I don't care if it's beneficial. As long as I can make money with it, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm having fun with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to observe it. I'm going to actually break ranks on this thing, right? And this is one of the reasons that the crypto space is so full of fraud, scams, outright con artists, literally.
But once again, the knowledge bros who love, well, actually, since I revamped the channel, I don't have as many knowledge bros as I used to. I mean, I had them like, they were like, they were heavy at one point. And it's just a few here and there, but I, I see this so often and you know, I don't really mind that if you critique me or have a different viewpoint, there was someone who had like a 10 paragraph response that was full of detail. And I was like, okay, this is a little different because most of the times it's just Glennon, you're wrong. And it'll be one paragraph and there'll be some flimsy reasons why I'm wrong with no actual real world application because believe it or not, I have actually studied billionaires. I don't think I'll ever be a billionaire. That's not my goal in life. But being a billionaire is not easy. It's just not. And what was his name? Wesley Virgin Billionaire. Wesley just thinks he's going to snap his fingers and become a billionaire. It ain't that easy. It is simply not that easy. And one of the things that we will get into as we go doing the training is how to create a real business that makes real money because I have a video on my other channel talking about people don't like to take risk and people are scared. And this is another factor that I think that plagues the knowledge bros. A lot of these guys, they're not stupid by any means of the stretch, but they're, they're scared. They're actually scared to do real business. They're actually scared to launch a product because I see, because like I said, uh, Criminal Minds, that's the show, Criminal Minds. I, I look at the comments and I see a lot of people are in, in fear because uh, I showed a video of a girl who sells, who has a clothing brand and she launches and she does really, really well financially. And then I was like, oh, she got lucky or she had money. And I was like, no, she didn't. She started in her parents' garage. I've literally watched her whole journey. She didn't have luck. She just worked hard. And th this is another symptom of the knowledge, bros. If you got successful, you got lucky, your parents were rich, there was something outside of hard work and taking your product to the marketplace because they don't know. They don't know what it is to take a book to the marketplace. They don't know what it is to take training to the marketplace. They don't know what it is to take consulting to the marketplace. They have no clue. Because they're back there in their 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 purview of just collecting knowledge. Uh, there are some people on YouTube who, if you could just pick a subject like crypto, they know everything about crypto. They know everything about Bitcoin. They know when it's going to have. They know everything about. Um, I forget what's the second Ethereum. They they know everything. Do they own any crypto? Absolutely not. <laughs> But they know everything about crypto. And th this this is thing like uh, someone was talking about real estate. Yeah, that was another knowledge, bro. Because he kept going, you can take this. And once again, when they start using a bunch of use, Y O U use versus saying, this is what I've done. This is how it's never what they have done. It's never what they have done. It's always, well, you could take this and you could, once again, knowledge bros. There are people out there who have encyclopedias of knowledge in their brain and they have never applied it in the real world situation. I mean, you've got people who've studied the topic for four, five, six, seven years and they will never get in the market. They will never actually use that knowledge in a real world example because they're scared. Because I got a question. If you're going to do all of this research, you're going to put all this stuff in your brain, you're going to do all of these things. Why aren't you using that knowledge in the real world application? Please put that in the comments. Why aren't you using that real that knowledge in the real? Because you're scared. I, you, you're 100% scared. That's why you don't put it in the real world application because you're scared. And that right there, that fear disappears when it comes to when I put something up, it's like, Linda, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. 
You wanna know why? Because there's no real world, there's no, there's no real consequences that's gonna happen for you putting up your comment. But if there was something like in a phantom world where like if you put up a whack comment and then these there was this show I was watching on networks, Netflix, where people were condemned to die and these three beasts would just pop out the air and do all kinds of stuff to them. If that happened, I guarantee you, you wouldn't put those comments up there because there would be some real world consequences happening for your, you're putting that knowledge out there, right? But one of the things I consistently see is a lot of people have a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, but they're absolutely scared to do anything with this. And it's just crazy to me because typically right now, when I'm in the gym, I'm listening to a book uh, about a certain subject. And I this is this is the thing. Uh, when I'm in the gym, I listen to books. And I get that stuff passively in my mind because I'll be listening to certain concepts. I, I may listen to a book two, three, four times to get all of the topics out of it. And then what I'm listening to, I'm actually doing. I'm listening to the book and I'm putting it out in a real world case scenario. I'm not just collecting knowledge to collect knowledge to harass YouTubers. I'm not doing that. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this because once again, we're doing some real world application stuff. Real world application meaning that we have the situation where we're creating the corporate citizen. Corporate citizen playbook where I teach you how to set up your business. I teach you the business structures. I teach you all of the stuff about how to create a holding company. I teach you about how to create a trust. I teach you all of these things. I teach you corporate banking. There, there's so many things that I actually teach you to help you become knowledgeable with business and to set yourself up for the future. And this is something that's going on that I, I think is pretty good. Right now, if you get in at the low price, because it's gonna be low once you get all of this stuff, you can get everything that I'm gonna create this year from this point on up into the future. And one of the things that we have is there's so many things that's gonna happen because I'm in my, my mode, I'm in my effort. I'm gonna be creating training, helping people become successful like next month. Next month is gonna be a banger. Um, I should say, once I start it, it's gonna be a banger. It's going to be really, really huge when I create how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel, because that's something that I have done and there's a lot of little things that you have to know that you have to do. And if you want that, just go ahead, jump in now. The link's in the description. The link's gonna be in the first comment. Just go ahead and get that. And we're gonna talk about how you can make a lot of money because I'll tell you a little story. Last time I was doing mail content, well, one of my first channels, it was a disruptive mail channel. It had 7,500 subscribers and this channel was doing 1,500 a month on top of the YouTube money. YouTube money really wasn't that big. I think I was making two or 300 bucks a month from AdSense, but I was consistently making $15,000 a month from a YouTube channel with 7,000 subscribers. And this is stuff that I can teach you, teach you how to set it up, teach you how to put together, and a whole lot more. So go ahead, get in that, the link's below. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I will be talking to you in the next video. Also, once I finish the corporate citizen playbook, the price goes up. So you wanna get in today so you can start learning the money course, which is free, you should be in that. So you can start going through the productivity course that's gonna teach you how to do all the things that I'm getting ready to create this year. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.